Hello, I'm Callie Lichter. Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton is vetoing City Council's approval of reinstalling stop signs along the Seven Line Bicycle Lane. The Council approved the measure earlier this month. Signs would have been reinstalled at 7th at Dunn, Lincoln, Morton, and Washington Streets. Hamilton says he has concerns about safety and the process by which the measure passed. Stellantis, the parent company of Jeep and Chrysler, is temporarily laying off more workers across two plants in Kokomo. The layoffs come as the United Auto Workers Union enters its fifth week on strike at a Stellantis assembly plant in Toledo, Ohio. Workers who are laid off because of their own union strike are generally not able to get unemployment benefits in Indiana. So the UAW is giving its laid off members $500 a week, equivalent to the pay striking workers get. And IU starting quarterback against Rutgers remains up in the air. When we make this decision this week, that, that person will be, be the guy. So we're not going to rotate back and forth. What's certain for Saturday's game is the end of the experiment of rotating Taven Jackson and Brendan Soresby. It didn't work in Saturday's 52-7 loss to Michigan. Jackson started Saturday's game and played in four of the ten series. Soresby led the offense on IU's other possessions. Saturday's game is homecoming for the Hoosiers. It kicks off at noon on Big Ten Network. Now let's take a look at the weather. Tonight, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies with a low of 44 degrees and looking ahead towards our five-day forecast. We're going to see some showers later on in the week, but sunny skies for Saturday's Hoosiers homecoming game. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.